Hi, my name is Eric Stewart. I started Code Green Community because I felt that going green alone was really hard and I wanted to create a community of individuals that work together to create a green community. One of the things that we try to do here uh, with our organization is create a permablitz. Now, a permablitz is a noun. It's an informal gathering involving a day on which a group of at least two people come together to achieve the following. Create or add edible gardens where someone lives. Share skills related to permaculture and sustainable living. Build community networks. And have fun. Permablitz are free events open to the public where you learn a lot, share food, get some exercise, and have a wonderful time. If you come to three or so permablitzes, we can help organize one at your house. That's right, Permablitz is based on reciprocal volunteer support. Once you've been to a few, we can help you connect to a volunteer professional permaculture designer, help you plan your blitz, promote it, and coordinate it on the day for free. Uh, after this are some videos that I took during the Perma Blitz on my house. In the next few weeks, we'll have an event planned for the next person's Perma Blitz, and then we'll have a thir uh, third Perma Blitz about a month from now. If you come to three, you get one for your house. Thank you and enjoy. This is. Uh mango and a fig rosemary peach tree a loquat lime persimmon lemon tree and a kumquat tree it's already fruiting I want more trees, um, so I can, I'll start digging the hole. Yeah, where's all the men, Eric? <laughs> Don't you know, women are going to save the world, not men. You do know that? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like my job. Yeah. Yeah. my turn. Yeah. Jason! I'm so excited to hear you. Jason! I can't do this. I can't do this on mine. What's this for? My charges! Don't eat that, it's been on the ground. Good job. Straight, okay? Okay. Play dog, get I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Good job. Take the mushroom off. And you can eat the manure. I can do this. I can't do this. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> I can do that. You're welcome. I'm sorry, Eric. Like I said, I would. I feel bad leaving. Yeah, in the car said to me, tell Eric and Steph go to change the date. I said, I tried to tell you to get you to change. just wanted to add some last personal thoughts. In the 1940s, in order to achieve victory, Americans were asked to sacrifice. They were asked to create victory gardens and to garden and to be self-sufficient. As a young man, I'm finding that our country no longer asks us to sacrifice. 
So in a way, I started this organization to ask others to sacrifice for one another. I feel that to garden is to be free. Free from genetic engineering, free from pesticides and herbicides, free from nutritionally deficient food. I'm, I got inspired from friends in the local community. Adam Fishos, who has his old whole backyard and front yard garden, and Jim Kovaleski, who lives in Newport Ritchie, they both are gardening because they want to be free. And it's really inspired me to go down this journey. And if you ever want to share some personal thoughts or have any ideas about this, feel free to go to codegreencommunity.org and go on our forums or go to the Edible Gardening Discussion Forum. And we can discuss ideas of how to garden in each other's backyards and how to become free from this food system that's, that's really ruining our country and to sacrifice for our boys overseas. They're fighting for our freedom. We should sacrifice for them. Thank you.